what if we could completely remove the middleman in trading? I'm not kidding. What if we could completely remove the middleman in trading? Here's, here's my problem right now. It's companies like this that, you know, have a good offering in the marketplace, but sell a product that is designed to lose traders money. Like, and I'm talking here about binary options. This is designed in a way for people to lose money. What does this platform do? By the way, out of all the binary options platforms, this, in my opinion, is the best one. I don't support nor do I promote binary option trading, nor do I think you should ever do binary option trading. By the way, I just want to clarify that. But there's something here. You see, I was obsessed at one point in my life and still am with finding holes in the system, you know, problems in the marketplace that could be exploited by the by the, the underdog, the retail guy, the guy looking to make just that extra bit of money outside of his day to day job. And I know because I speak with a lot of you guys, a lot of you are in that position, as am I. And you know, where can there be a price difference where there's all these products out there in the market, say with binary options, and then there's trading as well. How can you use different products and find arbitrage opportunities that no one else is thinking about? Like I was obsessed with this. And for months, actually years, I was doing not just backtesting, etc., but I was comparing every product that was available in the market to see where I could get an edge. And I was pretty bitterly disappointed because what I found out is it's the big boys. You have to be in with the big boys to have any edge. So you need to be in with the investment banks and have access to products other people don't have. You need to, you know, uh, be a broker because they're the biggest sharks of all of them. Like, this is really it. And I, and I was really frustrated with it. And I kept thinking I'd found these golden nuggets, the, these gaps in the market until I realized all of these places are regulated, which they should be, and all of them have to follow rules and all of them are designed in a way to take your money. So all of these platforms, your broker, everything is designed to take your money. And that frustrated me. And you know, I w I've been thinking one of the reasons why I love the idea of crypto is because it removes the middleman. You can get rid of the middleman and you and I can have a transaction where we don't need someone else. You know, like I, I can't tell you every time I take money from clients or take money in my business or take even money for the um, uh, Crypto Wizards dashboard here, you know, PayPal charging a massive fee for it. The middleman is taking a lot of money. And I had an idea for traders and I want to talk about it with you. See, if we take binary option trading as an example, options are, you know, I'm a big fan of options, not binary options, but I'm a huge fan of options because they allow businesses to hedge their risk. You know, we did a whole series on Quedex. Uh, previously, I was pronouncing it Qdex, but it's actually Quedex and talking about how and why options are so valuable um, in the crypto space. But let's take just a simple binary option. You know, this is gold to the dollar. I want to bet that gold to the dollar is going to be up or down, higher or lower than the current price right now. And if I stake a hundred dollars, no, let's let's call it a thousand dollars. If I stake a thousand dollars, I'm going to make one thousand seven hundred and forty-eight dollars. So my profit is going to be seven hundred and fifty dollars. So the payout. <laughs> this is quite misleading. The payout is actually going to be 734 if the price is higher than right now. So I can place that bet or I could place the bet that the price is going to be lower and I'd get $800 return. Here's the problem like and then I want to show you my idea. But here's the problem with this. If I do that, let's say I place this bet for $1,000. Which I never recommend you do, but I place this bet for $1,000 and the bet comes through. Great. I've made $738 profit. If the price ends up being higher than this price, I've made that money. Great. But 
what if it doesn't come through? So I spend my thousand dollars to make 738. If it doesn't come through and I'm wrong, how much do I lose? Oh, I lose a thousand dollars. How does that make sense? And it doesn't even matter which way I place it, whether I'm going to trade it going higher or lower. So the gap, which is, you know, a 15 to 20 percent gap. Where's that going? It's going to these guys. And don't get me wrong, they're a business. They're doing everything above board. They're, they're doing nothing wrong. But are you really happy with those odds? Like that doesn't make any sense. So I've actually modeled this out on a spreadsheet for you. Let's say we've got 10 grand to trade with and we trade 10% of our capital. Or no, let's say we have a thousand. Let's just use a thousand. I think it's more realistic for a lot of people. We've got a thousand dollars to trade with and we're going to trade 10% of our capital. In, in other words, a hundred dollars at any given time. And the return is 80%. I could say it's 85%. You know, that's fine. In other words, if I'm wrong, I, I will lose, you know, if I'm right, I make 85% of what I stake. If I'm wrong, I lose a hundred percent of it, just like the example we did here. So what happens over time is let's say I'm right. 50% of the time and I'm wrong 50% of the time. So it's an even distribution here. 50-50, toss of a coin. Cool. Well, overall, I've lost 11.2% uh, over 10 trades. I've lost $112 over 10 trades. And to make that back, I need to gain 13%. Because if you actually do the maths, to grow $880 $8, which is what I have left into back into a thousand dollars. I now need to make 12.6% return. So, so this is the maths. This is why it's not good. So let me ask the question. Why are we okay with the technology we have today? Why are we okay with paying 15 to 20% of what we make to these guys? Like you tell me why why are you okay with that because i'm not and here's the other thing it makes it very difficult to do what i was describing earlier you know where i was saying hey we've got products from this broker here we've got products from this broker here how do we take advantage of the gap well when you're paying a massive chunk to this guy you know 15 percent and whatever the hell this guy also wants that's what makes this impossible because I had an idea before and, you know, it mixes binary option trading with regular trading. And so if you think about binary option trading, if something's up or down, you make money. So, so if it ends up above a certain level, you win. Or if it's below that level, you lose, depending on how you trade it. Um, with trading, you make money as something goes up or you lose money as something goes down or vice versa, depending on whether you're buying or shorting. What if you mix these two things? Now, a lot of you might say, well, why would you do that? They are totally different things. And I'd say because of one simple fact here, here is one simple fact about the markets. Prices move. They go up and down and they move. So you can take advantage of big movements. So for example, let's say that something's in the money for your trade, you can you can take that profit and cancel out your position here and make an arbitrary amount of profit. Or let's say that you're losing here, but you're gaining here and you take that profit. Then what you can do here is keep this open and you never know. This might just come back into profit. So you can profit in two places. Now, of course, there's a lot, there's a lot to go into this and it's, it's going to be quite confusing and I don't want to talk about it much here, but it's this idea I have, but the only way it could ever become really possible or doable is if you take away the fact that these guys are making 15 to 20%, by the way, some of them a lot more of your trades. Why are we paying 15 to 20% to platforms, to brokers? So here's the idea. We use the blockchain to do peer to peer trading and lending. In other words, we have one thing we trade. So let's say in crypto wizards, we build this for us. You know, we're in this together, right? So we build this for us, for our community, and we build a private blockchain just for us. Um, 
or a public one just for us. It doesn't really matter. And other people can, can come in and etc. And it's totally free to come in and use. And you've got your buyer and you've got your seller. So let's say I want to bet that right now, here's the price of Bitcoin right now. I want to place a trade to say the price of Bitcoin will end up higher in this region up here. And someone else in the community says, no, I think it's going to end up lower. Cool. I'm, I'm willing to stake $100 on it because I'm going to go and hedge this somewhere else. And this guy over here says, yeah, cool. You know, I'll, I'll match that over here. And so now we have a transaction on the blockchain where we stake some kind of stable coin, US dollar tether for now, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. Um, but we stake some money and basically we have now allowed each other to get a hundred percent reward and not pay anything to the middleman. Now, of course, what's going to happen is someone's going to be right and someone's going to be wrong. And all of this would be tagged uh, to one version of the truth. So the price of Bitcoin could come from um, the same reference rate that, for example, based on what the CBOE or, you, you know, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the CME or whoever are tracking Bitcoin to. So we could just start this with one asset class and we just call it Bitcoin for now. And we could add others onto, onto it uh, down the line, but just get a minimum viable product going. We just do this for Bitcoin. And, you know, uh, trading on the price of Bitcoin or the price of gold or pink elephants, or orange monkeys. It doesn't matter as long as the algorithm has one source of the truth and the algorithm makes sure that it knows who's right and who's wrong so that no humans can be corrupted or be involved in this. This needs to be fully automated. It's, it's one version of the truth. It's mathematical. You were either right or you were wrong. Like it's that straightforward, all taken care of by the algorithm. Now, the cool thing is, both these guys have got an amazingly good deal. And so this guy over here could go and hedge his position somewhere else, wherever else he wants on some other platform. And so could this guy, he could trade and hedge his position somewhere else. Because what is the reality of things? The reality of things is markets move over time. And so different times, depending on how you're hedging and trading, you would be able to take advantage of those swings in the markets. This is like options trading 101. You know, understanding what volatility is doing. You could be buying an option where volatility is extraordinarily low. For example, you could buy it on Quedex. We love the guys at Quedex. Victor's a great guy. You've seen me interview him. Use his platform. You could buy an option there. Support Victor, right? And... Here we go. Now you've got the opposite end of a trade here where you've got 100% return if that goes wrong. Plus, we know markets move. You've just bought volatility when it's low. So volatility is going to go up, but you're hedged. Now, let's say you're the guy taking the other side of the trade. You could place the opposite trade the other side. And again, both make money. This is how I'm thinking about it. Anyway, it needs a lot more thought, but why don't we just build a blockchain where we can stake options together and trade whether the price will be above a line or below a line. And if it's at exactly the same price, then you, you just keep the money you staked. But why don't we just build a blockchain that does that and enable each other to profit through taking arbitrage against all these other products out there all these other brokers out there and basically dominate the space because why on earth do we need a broker actually let me do you know what this video is long enough i'm going to carry on talking because i'm quite passionate about this why do we need a broker i don't know if you have a blockchain and and why, why do we need liquidity providers we just need a community because here's here's where stuff goes wrong so if, if Joe blogs over here or Sarah or Jane or whoever, let's call him Joe. Joe wants to place a trade and Fred wants to place a trade. Why, why do we need someone in the middle to take 15%? Why? I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, let's just get rid of this and just say, okay, dude, you know, like you and you hook up, do your trade. And what if you say, well, I can't find anyone else who wants to do this trade. Then you don't trade. 
because no one's willing to back that. And I know a lot of people have an issue with that, but here's, here's the whole problem with the economy and the financial system, etc. We keep trying to plug holes where, there's, where, where there is a genuine problem. The genuine problem here is there's no liquidity. So the, the problem to solve is to find more people to use the platform. Not to go and get investment money, etc. to get this ball rolling, because the minute you do that, here's the problem. The minute you get investors, unless they're donations, donations are different. You know, unless there's a philanthropist who wants to see the world change, that's different. But let's say investors, they're going to want to return. And so now you need this blockchain to make money. So the blockchain has to take a percentage cut to pay back investors. And it just gets all noisy because we don't want to face the real problem. The real problem is to just find genuine people who want to be involved. Joe and Fred or whoever they are. I'm an idealist, by the way by nature. So I know, I know a lot of you are realists. I want you to come back and tell me what you think. But what is stopping us doing a blockchain for peer to peer lending for options trading? You tell me. You want to be a wizard? You got 